Hey, Wastelanders, my name is Oscapt. And I'm Noodlepan. Are you tired of running around Appalachia looking for bugs that seem to disappear right when you need them? Oh man, tell me about it. We're not talking about software bugs either. Everyone knows where to find those. We're talking about real bugs, insects, creepy crawlies that are surprisingly hard to find. That's no joke. One of our channel members said that she spent two hours once trying to find five insects for the daily challenge. Well, today we're sharing many of the secret bug hunting locations and strategies that we've discovered after more than a combined 3,500 hours spent in Fallout 76. Whether you need them for your scout badges, daily challenges, or crafting materials, we've got you covered. Now let's go squash some bugs. We'll start with the absolute best spots to find bugs in bulk. First up is Camden Park, which is basically where bugs go on their day off from working at Bethesda. You'll find at least three rad roaches near the roller coaster. And if you're lucky, some ticks hanging out there too. You can serve a hop here and finish any challenge in just a few minutes. But if you really want to hit the chitin mother load, head to the Shenandoah Visitor Center. We're talking 10 rad roaches, guaranteed. You don't even have to go inside. You'll find them around the exterior of the main building and in the smaller building out back. Nearby, there's also a location with a bunch of ants. Some are down by the road, and there are others up the trail. Vats is helpful here to find them in the underbrush. Ants are one of the toughest insects in the game. Use an energy weapon or a flamer to roast them before they take you down. Up in the Toxic Valley, there are rad roaches at the Clarksburg Shooting Club. Those aren't bugs. Those are ghouls. No, there used to be ghouls there, but now they've become rad roaches. I promise. Okay, if you say so. I like to go to Knife Edge, where there is three rad scorpions. Those are arachnids. Not in this world. They count as insects, too. Well, in that case, let's count the three that show up at Kitty Corner Cabins, too. Oh, yeah. Rad scorpions are divey little bastards, though, and they can cross significant distances quickly. I once had one burrow all the way from Hemlock Holes halfway to Clancy Manor just to tell me what it thought about my sniping at it with the fixer. I remember that. You squealed. Did not. That was the sound that it made when it died. Uh-huh. It was, it was a very manly sound. Now, here's my personal favorite, the Meyer Bunkers. You can find lots of rad roaches here if someone hasn't already cleared them out. Plus, there's usually some decent loot in the bunkers, too. Talk about efficient farming. You know, I can't keep my hands off that sweet, sweet junk. <laughs> in the forest region, you've got a bunch of bugs at Ehrenhald Homestead. Just please don't kill the dogs. Sneak past them instead. I already killed them. I'm sorry. Oh, <gasps> I hate you. More than hating me, Noodle hates killing dogs in the game. If she could befriend all of them, she would. Hey, maybe pacify would work. Probably, but I'd still have to point a gun at them. While you're up here, get the ticks at the Moonshiner's shack. Just be fast. The settlers will also shoot them, and you don't get credit for that. You could always shoot the settlers first. Didn't think of that. Appalachia is a first-hand example of what happens when you defund the police. Are the raiders what's left of BLM? I think that's the Blood Eagles. Ticks are gross, but if you need more of them, there's a great spot in the Cranberry Bog. Just travel to Moss Home and then head north across the tracks to a Quonset hut thing. There you'll find as many as eight of these disgusting creatures. Tick blood is a crucial ingredient in Fasnacht sausage, which will give you up to 80 more HP if you're a carnivore. Stick that in your freezer and nom nom on it every time you log in. Nom nom sausage. That's what she said. Noodle's favorite location for insects is the Meyer Bunkers, but mine is a little more special. Northeast of Freddy Fear's House of Secrets is a cave with honey beasts and bloat flies. And nearby, there are a couple more ticks. Gross, but yeah. After killing all the ghouls and the wendigo, head east-northeast for a while. Right about the time that you think you've gone off the map, you'll see them on the left. Vats or very mantads will be helpful here to spot them before they spot you. This is also a fantastic location for a Fallout first tent, so that you can server hop and fast travel back here to do it as often as you need to. <laughs> Need blood bugs specifically? The New River Gorge Bridge is your best bet. Head to the upper sections and you'll find five to eight of them just hanging around in the middle sections. There are also bloat flies at the New River Gorge Resort behind the main building. Just watch out for the ghoulish Walmart greeters. And if you're hunting crickets, Tanagra Town is the place to be. Yeah, follow the branches up counterclockwise. There's usually about 10 crickets in the cave at the top. Just don't fall off like I did last time. 
You can find more cave crickets in the deep, which you can get to by walking north from the White Spring Lookout Tower or northeast from the pigsty. Be sure to check both entrances and get yourself some starlight berries while you're there. Don't forget to bring your kami whacker. You'll thank me later. With sting wings, you can go to Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse or to a shack on the White Spring grounds between the snake and the 83A road sign on the map. There are three that spawn in each location. For you carnivores, Stingwing Filet will give you plus four strength, giving you an additional 20 carry weight. Now let's talk about the fastest way to complete bug challenges, the Ford Defiance hallway technique. This is genius. Just head to the second left hallway, throw one nuka grenade and boom, challenge complete. And if you don't have nuka grenades, use an explosive weapon with a far-flung fireworks legendary perk. When enemies explode, it's epic. Here's another pro tip. Craft yourself a bloatfly syringer. Every enemy that you shoot with this will spawn a bloatfly when they die. It's like creating your own personal bug farm. Super mutants at West Tech were great for this. Just remember to shoot them at least twice for the best chance to spawn a bloatfly. And try not to let it kill you. Yeah, there's that too. Don't forget about events. Tea time is basically a bug hunting paradise. You'll easily get 50 bugs during a single event, especially if you tag enemies or solo it. Rearrange or Scorched Earth are great for bugs too. I actually completed a weekly bug challenge during a single Scorched Earth event last week. Plus, these events give you other rewards as well. So it's like habit stacking for that habit that you just can't quit. You're not saying that Fallout 76 is an addiction, are you? No more than playing a slot machine is. There you have it, Wastelanders. Everything you need to know about finding bugs in Fallout 76. Remember, Shenandoah Visitor Center and the Maya Bunkers are your best bets for quick challenges. But don't forget about events and quests for extra rewards. Here's a map of insect locations in the game, which is available for channel members and patrons. If you're not already a member, you can join Patreon for free at the link in the description or by scanning this QR code with your phone. If this guide helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for the very best Fallout 76 videos. I'm Oscapt. And I'm Noodle Pants. And until next time, stay safe out there, vault dwellers, and happy bug hunting. Shadows creep this way. Cause a land of rusted dreams where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride with dangers untold and no.